Hey guys, Handy Andy here, and this is my torque wrench. Let me tell you why torque specifications are pretty important. I've got some good electrical work I'm doing on this lovely GMC StarCraft. Rotating the tires on these bad boys. And it really got me thinking that not a lot of people know that wheel lug nut torque actually affects your brakes. Say Joe McSchmo mechanic fucking just uses the ugga dugga gun on your lug nuts and just torques them to how he sees fit, that's gonna be a problem. Your lug nuts are actually bolted through your brake rotor to the wheel hub using lug studs. What that means for you is if Joe McSchmo mechanic over there uh, tightens them down just at whim and it's uneven pressure it actually affects your brakes wear pattern believe it or not because with even pressure your brake rotors will turn true the actual hub uneven lug pressure can have this vibrating back and forth between the hub and the actual wheel and where the actual lug nut starts or just completely cant it and you'll never be able to see it and you probably won't even feel it for the first few thousand miles that's also one of the plethora of reasons why they say to torque your wheel on in a star pattern. That one simple oversight can cost you quite a bit of money in brakes. Now I'm not saying everyone should go out and buy one of these. Mainly because you only have two testicles and they're going to require at least one. What I am saying is buying a cheaper one of these or even buying a mechanical one can save you a lot of money down the road and it's always going to be done right. Between a home gamer and a professional, torque specs. Well, in the shop, I guess. Much more tools than that. And no soul, and no happiness, depression. Maybe also a hint of alcoholism.